Hey guys, Dan here with Sterling Self Defense and Badger. All right, here another video. Let me answer. Yeah, guys, Amazon love these straps. You know, these little pouches, great access, goes right over. You can also wear it on my on your side. Quick access, will snap right there. That's not what this video is about. Just telling you guys, you know, you get them on Amazon. Great way to carry and be able to still get to your. FSC or whatever you can really quickly got a pull snap pull it out right here All right, but today's video is about the power plug uh, a lot of guys and bugging me To make uh go back to making the ones I make for the TCP. Uh, I used to make them in all different sizes uh, You know small medium large and uh, back to making some small ones for TCP These ones I'll show you how they go on and off Little, let me show you here. So basically, here they are. It's my two-step threading that everyone's copying now that I've been doing for years. But anyway, I digress. Mine's still getting way more than any of theirs because it's designed properly. So you just take your air chamber, take your cap off the back, take your little O-ring off. Now, there's two ways to do this. Take your O-ring off, put it on here, and then just screws right in. Just like the cap right on the end of your bolt. What I recommend you do, you can do it either way, is Loctite this. And don't use the O-ring at all. It actually allows you to get a little closer to the bolt and it brings your bolt back a little bit from the projectile, which actually gives you a little more power. Won't get into explaining that, but it works. So, you know, but you can use the O-ring if you still want to have access to here without heating it up and taking it off. You can just take the little O-ring off your cap. Pop it on here, and you're good to go. All right, I'll show you on the gun. Comes off real easy. As you can see, flat on two sides, just like the front of the bolt. No, no special tools needed. Pretty much just your hand. You know, I just snug a little with the wrench, but you can take it out by hand pretty easy. There you go. On there, I lock tight mine. Don't use the O-ring. All right, I push it in, tighten it up. Now, it's pretty good right there. You're try literally by hand, you're tight enough. It ain't gonna come out and it's gonna hold. So you can snug it up with a wrench if you like, but don't really need to. It's got plenty of threads on there. All right, we're gonna test it out. Okay, this is an FSC. It's got a PRV Delete VKS spring kit installed in it. Milsig O-ring, uh, five and a half inch SSD barrel. And uh, the new power spray. Uh, I think I covered everything. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right, now we're going to grab some jewels. There we are. Eight gram jewels. Load them up. Try and remember the follower. Badger, remind me about the follower. Badger. Just sleeping. He don't care. It's not about his burner. He don't want to hear it. Nope. Air up, and she's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bring the trap down a little bit. Yes, I know my trap's still in bad shape. I gotta fix it up. I just haven't had time to order some new material. All right, safety glasses. Aha, follower, I remember. All right, first shot. Five and a half inch barrel. Four sixteen. Four sixteen. Four fourteen. Four forty eight. Four ten. Four oh six. Alright, so alright. Now pretty good numbers. You know, six jewels. 
plus whatever it was. But all the other guys in their stupid little cap, they're getting like 45 joules in their little copy cap, I call it. 60 joules with only a five and a half inch barrel. 60 something joules, actually 62, 63 joules. I'll do the math and put it on the screen. But you know what I mean? Only five and a half inch barrel. And my regulator is not turned all the way up. I'm actually doing a little test. I have this full turn, instead of uh, all the way in a full turn back, I get to turn back one full turn. Just want to see if that does. Now I'm going to load, uh, I'm going to turn all the way up and then see what the difference is. Still doing some testing with the power spring. I was just thinking about it. I'm like, I'm installing the power spring. It's 35 millimeters and I'm still doing, you know, tying it all the way and then quarter back. I'm like, wait a minute. Now I got a long spring. I forgot to test to see what it does on different, you know, adjustments back. So let me grab a tool and see what the difference is. You know, most of those other guys do videos just trying to sell you crap. When I do a video, it's actually a testing video. I'm not trying to sell you shit. Don't buy shit. I don't give a flying fuck. But I'm just basically ta taping my testing. So you see it along with me. I don't pre-shoot just so I know my numbers. You know, you're, you know, getting the same surprise I am. So I think that's just the better way to go. Plus, I have a shitty memory when you do testing. I'm terrible at writing shit down and then remembering it. So now I just put it on video and, hey, what numbers did I get on that gun? Ah! Go to the videotape. Now, it's really just a lazy thing. Something for you guys. Fuck you guys. <laughs> All right. Back a little bit. No, I had this one full. Now, okay, sorry. I forgot my test. I had this one all the way and then quarter turn back. Now I want to go back a full turn. That's what I want to do. And see what the difference is. Okay, there we go. Because I had not tested that yet with the new power spring. So that was uh, all the way up, quarter back that I shot before. So now we're a full turn back. See what it does. Because I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. This is the first test. And it is a relatively small barrel. If you put a long barrel on this thing, it would be a monster. Well, all of them are, you know that. But the cool thing about this adapter is, unlike the other ones, you got to screw on, screw on. The TCP can't. There's nowhere to screw on to. So this one is great for TCP, T8.1. So you just screw them right on. You don't have to worry about anything else. You guys have been bugging me forever to start making them again. I haven't made them in a while. I get kind of bored of making the same thing. There's actually, this is one of my original modifications from like three years ago now. When I started messing with volumes on air chambers. And I have much longer ones too. But they get crazy insane power. Don't need. Alright. We're back. Full turn back. See if there's any difference. Uh, follower, I remembered. I'm getting better at this follower thing. Nope. I don't have the right glasses. There you go. All right. Nope. All right. Ooh, 300. Nah, that's not so good. I went too far back. Am I got air in my tank? Wow, that's low. Yeah, the uh, full turn back was too far. That brought us down into the 30 drill range. So let me go make it so it's just about a half a turn. All right. All right, try it now. Yeah, I want more power than that. But you can adjust it to anywhere you want. I just prefer mine to be higher. You know, you're, all you really need is between 35 and 50 joules. Still around the three hundreds. Right, let me go back up. Okay, the, the power spring. Okay, what I'm noticing is even slight adjustments of a pretty, pretty big uh, chase swing. Really surprised. I didn't think it'd be that much. The regular springs 
I mean, to get that much of a difference, you got to like crank like four turns back. Now that with the 35 millimeter spring, apparently it's quick, easy adjustments, which I like. The, the thing that's a pain in the ass before is, you know, when you want to switch your gun uh, from 35 joules up to like, you know, 50 something joules, you're like cranking like crazy. It's like, what was it, like four and a half turns back down to like 35, and then it's like to get back up four and a half turns. That's a lot of turns. Now it's like, we're talking quarter turns. Wow, I like that. So it actually makes the spring a lot better. Now you can just carry around a little tool. You want to do a quick adjustment, quarter turn, instead of cranking. That was the biggest pain in the ass. And I was trying to invent a tool that, you know, small, ratchet-wise, you go on the gun, you can adjust quickly. I came out, I, I made something, but it was small, but not small enough to really carry with the gun. It, it was, but I didn't like it. I wanted something you could just go, doot. So this new power spring opens up a lot of possibilities. Let me get a little back. I like that. I didn't even know it did that. See, you know, hey, you never know till you test. Oh, let me load up again. But that is awesome. Invented a new mod and I didn't even know I did it. That's great. Now I can go with a manual tool. Oh, I'm dropping tools all over. A smaller manual tool. Where you can change it real quick, just a little fit, done. Instead of, you know, send a ratchet where you gotta ratchet like crazy. But I'll have to keep doing testing and make sure this, you know, all pans out. It's very good to say that, but then you work on another spring and it's completely different. You never know. So, testing, testing, testing. All right. But that is exciting. I like it. You know I was going to forget the follower at some point. I got an error. I got a little low, but I got enough. Ooh, 320. 302 going down. 300. Four. All right. All right, we guys get the point. I'm going to keep testing with this. Kind of find the sweet part uh, point. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have to pull it out, try another 35 millimeter, see if it stands up. The same turning ratios with the bigger spring. But so far, so good. That looks pretty awesome because the old, you know, 32 plus millimeter spring, you want it to change your joules from 50 down to 30, you know, four and a half, five full turns. You mean, ooh, ooh, all the, if you're doing a regular round K, you're like, Jesus, you know, it takes a while. And a ratchet, even with a ratchet, it takes a while, so... That looked very promising. But anyway, that, I'm sorry, that's not what this video was about, but you saw what it was about. It was about the new uh, the power plug. Uh, I redesigned it a little bigger on this one. My, my last version was smaller and physically smaller. This one's bigger and it gets a lot more. I utilize more, of, I, I won't get it either, but it's a very high air volume, so it gets very good power. You stick a long barrel in this, you know, turn it on a carbine, you get crazy power. But the best part is, basically, this is for the TCPs and TA.1s. You know, you know, it's white round. I, I like the square one on my FSCs, obviously. It screws on, looks better. But unless you want to, I've tapped TCPs and put the flat cap, uh, caps on. I did one for uh, PSI Defense on his sidearm. That's a pain in the ass. You got to fucking tap the whole back of the gun. You only get two screws in. Not real happy about that. So this one, nice TCP, thread it in, thread it out. That easy. And the cool thing, if you want to go back to just standard, standard power, take this out, put your old air, uh, air chamber, boom, right back in. And uh, put your cap back on. You're back to the way you were, uh, you know, depending on how your TCP is set up, whatever power you get. But quick, easy change. With the power plug, so. Alright, all you guys have been bugging the shit out of me for the last freaking year to start making it again. There you go, screw you. <laughs> I, I'd like to have a million things going at the same time, but right now with the one CNC machine, I'm always coming up with something new, so when you run a part, you know, there's, there's a lot to it. And you gotta keep running that same part. 
It's not like you can stop. Hey, we pull this off, throw a new part on. You know, then you got to take off your fixture plates, build a new fixture plate for the new part, and then you got to run. It, it's a whole thing. So I try to do one part at a time. So I make as many as I can. Uh, it is what it is. And there's other stuff people are bugging me to make. I'll get to that too at some point. Now, I'm, I'm looking at some new CNC machines too. This way I can have two run at the same time. And plus the new uh, CNC lathe is coming. So that'll take a lot of pressure off too. Doing some other parts that I can do on that. You know. All right. Well, anyway, that's it for me and Badger. We're out. I will see you on the next one. And I'll let you know how the testing goes on the new regulator balancing. All right. Stay safe.